My name is Olga Kayima from the UNICEF Innovation Centre. Today we're going to set, talk about how to set up Facebook Messenger as a channel on Rapid Pro. And this is going to be one of our slightly longer videos, so please bear with me. So first of all, you navigate your way to developers.facebook.com and you register as a Facebook developer. If you've already registered as a Facebook developer, all you have to go, all you have to do is maneuver to my apps and then click add a new app. Now this pop-up box, you'll choose a display name, um, something straightforward um, with an obvious name, such as Europort, uh, maybe country office, so with your country name, and you would enter your email address. And under category, you choose pages, apps for pages, and then create the app ID. Facebook uh, will check to see a human. Uh, I'll try another one because that's not very clear. Okay. And you'd submit that. Um, this process can take a while, so we can only be patient. Now once the app um, has been made, you'd navigate to roles, you'd add an administrator. Um, we would suggest adding me as an, as an administrator to your, work, um, to your app just in case you've got any issues um, and I can support you with them. So you go over here, add administrators. In this instance, I'm going to add Kaylee as an administrator. Uh, please note that the person that or the people that you add as administrators on the app have to be your Facebook friends. Uh, password will ask me to uh, Facebook will ask me to enter my password. So the person that you've added as an as an administrator will come up with pending in brackets. Um, this just means the person um, hasn't accepted yet. And once they um, see the notification on their Facebook, they'll be redirected to this Facebook developer's website where they can um, click confirm. Uh, so next thing we'll do is create a page in Facebook. So we'll go over to our Facebook page. We'll click pages. Here we'll go to more and create page. Um, I'm going to choose cause or community because you report is a cause. Um, and then write in the same the same name as the app and click get started. Now the reason why we make a Facebook page is that um, this public Facebook page connects to the Facebook app that we've just made in developers and, and the app in turn acts as an intermediary between the public page and Rapid Pro. However, the messages between Rapid Pro um, and, your, and the Europorter are private. Now that we've done that, we we'll go to settings. We want to make sure that the page is not published while we're working on it. So we'll go ahead and unpublish that. We also want to make sure that um, the page, uh, people can actually message the page. So we're just going to double check. messages so it says people can contact my page privately that's great you want that so if it's not ticked um, go ahead and tick it and the third thing we're going to do is go to page roles uh, we want to add admins um, to the page and again uh, I would suggest that you add me as an admin in this example I'm going to add Kaylee again as an admin and she'll get a notification of that I'll re-input my password So when you're done with that, we'll go back to the developers page. Um, and in the developers page, we're going to go and click add product. We're going to add messenger and click get started. We're going to scroll down and generate a token that we'll use 
um, in Rapid Pro. So it's called your report country name. That's the page I've just made in Facebook. Facebook will then ask me um, what permissions I want to allow the group to have. Click OK. Once the token's generated, you just click to copy it, take it over to Rap go over to Rapid Pro. Uh, if you click this tab, it will bring you onto this page that has all your account information. And this gear tool, this gear icon here, you click that and you add channel. I'm now going to add Facebook. So I scroll down and get Facebook. I'll paste the token that I copied from the app and submit. This will generate um, the webhook URL and the token. Um, so I'll go back to the developers page. And underneath, right underneath token generation, there is the section that says webhooks. I'll click set up webhooks. I'll go back to the Rapid Pro page um, and copy and paste the webhook URL, paste it into developers.facebook, and then I'll copy the token and again paste it into Facebook developers. I'll then have to click the subscription fields I would like, and I would like messages, messaging postbacks, and messaging opt-ins. You will verify and save. So I'll then go back to Rapid 